Hello everyone and welcome back to Jacklet Educational Channel. So in this video we are going to discuss the unit wise syllabus and we are dealing with unit 1 of the UGC Net Environmental Science. So this is the part 11 and if you haven't checked the previous lessons you can check the link given in the description below. So today what we are going to learn will be the biogeographic realm. Yes, the biogeographic realm is also known as ecozone so you should note down. You should know that ecotone is the transition between two ecosystems. So don't get confused between ecotone and ecozone. So ecozone is the biogeographic realm. So what is this biogeographic realm? You should know that bio means the life. So the geographic regions throughout the world are divided on the basis of biotic that is the faunal distribution based on the evolution characteristics. So yes, evolution ke aadhar pe jo dunia mein geographic distribution hua hai usse kehte hain biogeographic realm and it is the broadest biogeographic division of the earth's land surface. So earth ka jo land surface hai uska sabse bada jo division hai usse kehte hain biogeographic realm based on the distribution patterns of the terrestrial organism. So jo terrestrial organism ka distribution hai uske aadhar pe kiya gaya hai they are subdivided into ecoregions which are classified based on their biomes or habitat types. So biomes are the part or one of the unit of biogeographic realm. So a number of biomes all together will form the biogeographical realm. So let's move to the next slide to know more briefly about the realms. So this realms means they delineate that means they demarcate the large areas of the earth surface. So the geographical lines which are called as the biogeographical realms they delineate that means they divide one geography with the other in which the organisms have been evolving in relative isolation. So these boundaries will be the factor for which the organisms present on one side is different from the other in the evolutionary process. So over long period of time as a result of ocean, desert, mountain ranges these things are protecting the species from being the same kind of that means they are evolving because of these things that is ocean, deserts and mountain ranges which are the barriers for the migration. So these things are the realms which are delineating, demarcating. So there are several distribution and classification based on the different scientists but we will know the basic one which is given in this map as you can see different colors so the different biogeographic realms. So here you can see just you have to remember the names so I will tell you one by one. The first is Nearctic, next is Pale Arctic, Afrotropical, Indomalayan, Australasian, Neotropical, Oceanian and Antarctic. So all these parts are divided throughout the world according to the different colors as you can see. So we will know one by one and then we will come back to the map. So first is Pale Arctic. So Pale Arctic you should know it is the area or the biogeographical realm which is having the maximum area that is 54.1 million square kilometer and what are the areas included under the Pale Arctic. So the areas are Eurasia and the North Africa. So let's move to the map part to know the Pale Arctic region. So the Pale Arctic you can see here it is demarcated in the dark red color. So here you can see as Eurasia and it is telling that Eurasia and North Africa. So North Africa you can see here the top of Africa is the North Africa and Europe and Asia they combine together to form the Eurasia. So this part is known as the Pale Arctic. So we have started with Pale Arctic because it is the highest amount of area coming under that. Next is Knee Arctic. So Knee Arctic is having the second most area covered that is 22.9 million square kilometer and what it is including? It is including most of the North America. Yes, Knee Arctic region. Let's move and see. So most of the North America part as you can see is known as the Knee Arctic region which is demarcated in the green color here. Let's move to the third one which is Afrotropic. So Afro means you would have guessed that ye kuch na kuch hoga Africa se related. Yes, you are true. So it is including the Trans-Saharan Africa and the Arabia region. So let's see what is this Afrotropic. So Afrotropic means Trans-Sahara that means here is the Sahara Desert and Trans means boundary. So boundary of the Sahara Desert and all this part that is here we will be seeing that Saudi region. So these things are coming under the Afrotropical region that is the trans boundary of the Africa and Arabia Saudi Arabia region. Next coming into the 
नियोट्रॉपिक रीजन सो वट इज दिस नियोट्रॉपिक रीजन सो नियोट्रॉपिक रीजन जो है इट इंक्लूड साउथ अमेरिका सेंट्रल अमेरिका एंड कैरेबियन सो कैरेबियन मीन्स वेस्ट इंडियन वी ऑल नो सो वी विल सी दैट नियोट्रॉपिक हाउ इट लुक्स लाइक सो नियोट्रॉपिक रीजन इज लुकिंग लाइक हियर सो दिस विल इंक्लूड द कैरेबियन एंड द अदर रीजन विच आर सेंट्रल अमेरिका एंड साउथ अमेरिका सो यू कैन सी हियर दिस इज द साउथ अमेरिका दिस इज द सेंट्रल अमेरिका एंड द कैरेबियन ऑल टूगेदर दे फॉर्म द नियो ट्रॉपिकल रीजन लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट विच इज ऑस्ट्रेलिशिया येस ऑस्ट्रेलिशिया आई थिंक यू ऑल वुड हैव गेस्ट दैट ऑस्ट्रेलिया प्लस सम ऑफ द एशियन कंट्रीज सो वट विल बी दैट सो दैट ऑस्ट्रेलिशिया विल इंक्लूड ऑस्ट्रेलिया न्यू गिनिया न्यूजीलैंड एंड अदर नेबरिंग आईलैंड सो अदर नेबरिंग आईलैंड्स विच विल बी कमिंग सम ऑफ द पार्ट ऑफ द एशिया दैट विल बी ऑस्ट्रेलिशिया सो लेट्स सी हाउ इट लुक्स लाइक सो ऑस्ट्रेलिशिया इज डिपिक्टेड हियर इन द डार्क ऑरेंज कलर यू कैन से सो हियर इज द ऑस्ट्रेलिशियन रीजन ऑस्ट्रेलिया सम ऑफ द न्यूजीलैंड पार्ट and then islands under the new zealand so as you can see this is the australasian part next part t will be indo malaya so what is this indo malaya indo malaya will be india will be there so indian subcontinent southeast asia and southern china they all form this biogeographic realm that is indo malaya so let's see how this indo malaya looks like yes indo malaya means our india is here so india and part of china and malaysia this all they form the indo malayan biogeographic realm let's move to the next biogeographic realm that is oceania so what oceania will include it will include the polynesia so what is polynesia that is everything except the new zealand because new zealand is already taken or included in the australasia so oceania will be having polynesia micronesia and fijian islands so all this will be under the oceania and the antarctic will be including the antarctica region so i hope you have been able to locate these things on this map so we have clearly mentioned all these eight biogeographic region which are important now you should note down all these regions which are coming under this and now we will know about some of the important terms under this biogeographic region first is holo arctic region so what is this holo arctic region so holo arctic region means the pale arctic and the near arctic these two realms are sometimes combinedly grouped together to call as holo arctic realm yes as you can see this green color that is the northern most part of the northern continents of the world is called as holo arctic realm which is the major biogeographic realm that encompasses majority of habitats found through the northern continent so as you can see pale arctic plus near arctic they both form the holo arctic realm so that is important kindly note it down because the questions are asked from this this is also one of the frequently asked question in the net environmental science and other entrance examination that is wallis line so what is this wallis line so before looking into the map let's read the definition it is a faunal boundary line yes this is the line that is based on the division of fauna that is animals drawn in 1859 by the british naturalist alfred russel wallis so he do this line he has drawn this line but this name was given by the thomas henry huxley so he didn't give the name he just demarcated this according to the difference in the faunal and then the name was given by thomas henry huxley so you should write it down that separates the biogeographical realms of asia and wallacea so it is the transition zone between asia and australia so as you can see here asia will go and here australia is present so this boundary line is called the wallace line which is dividing the asia and australia that is asia and wallacea wallacea is also one of the biogeographical realm according to the different characterization and classification of biogeographical realm so it is important to note that wallacea line divides australia from the asia so now i would like to say that these are some of the important playlist which i have already made in the channel so you can go through all these links i will provide in the description below that will be very important and helpful in the ugc net environmental science examination and you will be getting more help as soon i will upload any other video so don't forget to click on the bell icon by subscribing the video and then you will get the further updates so keep learning and believe in yourself